Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, PhilPhoneTheKids.com. Today we got Samsung Galaxy Z Flip Tom Brown Edition. As the name tells, this is a collaboration from Samsung and Tom Brown. And as you can see, I'm not a suit person. So all my comments and perspective are gonna be from a non-suit person kind of attitude. All right, so here we go with the packaging. This is a pretty big one, because this does contain a lot more than the usual Galaxy Z Flip. That retails for 30, 80 US dollars. Now this sells for 24, 80, and this is also limited. All right, without further ado, let's see what it contains inside. This is a packaging, it's a paper one with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip logo on the side. And on the front, you can see the signature Tom Brown lining over there, red, white, and navy, and a little seal that's not usually Samsung, but in a Tom Brown style. It's a very well-built packaging indeed. And you can see that the signature colors are also present inside that box. This is a very nice little detail. It looks very premium. You can open up the box. It opens on top and there is a little thank you note over there. We bought this in Korea, so it's all written in Korean, but basically it tells you how unique of a collaboration it is. And they thank you for purchasing this unique little device. Under that are three different boxes. This is Z Flip, Buzz Plus, and the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And there's a little strap that seems like you can pull forward. Yes, you can. You pull it forward and there is the leather case along with the black rubber strap for the Galaxy Watch Active 2 because the one installed in the packaging are made out of leather and you probably don't want to wear that for swimming. We've also seen this from the Apple Watch Hermes Edition. It comes with leather, but there is additional silicon band. All right, let's put it back in and let's start with, uh, I don't know, Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's painted in navy, there's a little seal, Active 2 and the Galaxy Watch Active 2 logo on the side. Opening it up gives us the watch itself and don't forget the one on top. It's usually stuck on top half of the packaging. There is a little quick start guide there. And for what matters the most here is the watch itself. This is the Galaxy Watch Active 2 Tone Brown Edition. Let's power that up. You can see that the leather strap is made very well. The quality seems very, very nice. You can see the Tone Brown logo on the side, New York, and the three iconic colors there. Again, this is a leather strap. And out of the different models, this is smaller stainless steel model. It's a Bluetooth one without the LTE connection, so you will have to pair this up with your smartphone. What's different from Vanilla Watch Active 2 is the watch face. This is Tone Brown design watch face over there. If you don't happen to like it, you can tap and hold on it to switch to the other usual watch faces. Other than that, this is exactly the same. You have all the apps over there. The icons and the other interface designs are exactly the same. I kind of expected a little more than this from the special edition, but it's only the watch face and the leather straps that are different. The charger is also the same. It goes with the USB type A port, and this is a magnetic adapter that you can snap onto the watch. And that's pretty much it. That's the watch active too. It looks very nice. I'm not a huge fan of the three color linings, but this one definitely looks very nice. Now to the Galaxy Buzz Plus. This is one of the cordless headphones. You've all seen the Galaxy Buzz Plus. It also has a Galaxy Buzz Plus logo on the side. Inside the packaging, just like the other ones, it also got the quick start guide on there. And the Galaxy Buzz Plus itself is right there, along with the accessories box that contains the additional ear tips. You can open that up and the USB cable for charging. The wing tips and additional size of the ear tips are there. What about the device itself? This is the charging case. Overall it's finished in gray and three color lines over there. Um, this doesn't look particularly premium aside from the Tone Brown logo there. It's just the usual Galaxy Buzz Plus. Um, the finishing isn't that amazing. You can see the little imperfections on printing, a little background protruding to the colors, and the lines are not perfectly straight. You can see the little teeny tiny glitches, nothing major, but not exactly ultra premium right there. Now inside that are the actual units, and the inside colors are finished in white. I kind of expected to match the colors with the outside, or if that was too boring, maybe black, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a designer. But to my eyes, this looks a little unfinished, so to say. The units also are finished in gray and the three color lines. Um, all the other parts are matte while the touchpad is finished with the glossy look. The printings here don't exactly look detailed either. They're not specifically annoying, but I kind of expected a little more detail than this. And also I'm kind of against painting everything in the Tone Brown signature logo. This looks a little too much for me, but I don't know, maybe the hardcore Tone Brown fans are gonna be extremely happy with this. That's it, nothing functional and different about this. This is just the usual Galaxy Buzz Plus with the new paint job. But of course we haven't really gotten to the most important part, the Z 
flip. Here's the packaging in red, a very interesting red color. And you can see even under the packaging are painted with the matching colors. This is kind of the finish and attached to the little details that you who pay $24.80 for a phone deserve. Alrighty, here's the Galaxy Z Flip. We're just gonna cut it right there to open it. There's a logo on the side, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. And opening the box up gives you a little packet on top. Don't forget about the packet on top because this one does not, but usually for Samsung phones, they have a little protective plastic case there. For this, since it comes with the leather case anyway, only contains the quick start guide. All right, so what's inside the packaging? Here is the phone itself. Under that is a charger, 15 watts, nothing major, along with the USB-C to type A adapter. So if you're transferring your data or using a USB flash drive or mice, I don't know. Over that is the usual USB cable, USB-C to type A, and the pair of AKG headphones. This comes with the USB-C port because the Galaxy Flip obviously does not have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You can use this or the Galaxy Buds Plus that just came with it. All right, finally to the phone on the cover be careful to your screen don't let anything stick between the screen when you fold it this is not waterproof do not put unauthorized screen protector on it it's got magnet inside be careful next to the pacemaker all that stuff you should be extra careful about this high-tech foldable phone now as you all know the galaxy Z flip came with two different colors well three in some reasons including gold here's the black one Here's the purple one. And unlike these two that were reflective, this is not. It's got the matte finish on the glass. The three color lining over there isn't printed on the outside of the glass. It's rather, it seems it's rather printed inside. And then there is another layer of protective glass that is covered in frosted uh, finish. The back is the same with the unique Tone Brown New York logo. The hinge is in silver. When opened, it looks like this. Now it looks a little less stunning than I expected, but it looks nice, it looks very unique, but you can't call it a special edition without having everything, including the software tailored to the theme. So we're gonna power it up. It has the usual boot up screen, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip powered by Android, but it has a dedicated boot up animation. Tone Brown New York there, and also the lock screen. When you open up the phone, it has a little ribbon kind of thing going down the screen, and then the Tone Brown logo. Now the thing about this lock screen animation is that it doesn't fit up the resolution so well you can see that it doesn't quite match the clarity of the font over there in which they got a little interesting um lock screen clock font there there this is the home screen you have the tone brown new york wallpaper and look at the little icons there phone camera and the tone brown app along with the play store now tone brown app isn't anything actually special this is a tone brown app that lets you shop from their stores uh i don't think i'm gonna use that but if you bought a tone brown edition phone you're probably gonna shop from their um, wardrobe pretty often. So if you wanna do that, it's built in. Pulling out the app drawer, you can see all the Tone Brown themed icons there, but the thing is they're not perfect. I get that some Google icons are not changeable with their colors, but even the Samsung ones, even the built-in Samsung ones like Bixby and the AR Zone does not have their dedicated icons. They're just finished with the outer frame. Some crucial ones like phone, messages, internet, camera, settings, all these are done very nicely. They look widely different from the default one, but if they were gonna do it, they should have done it right, especially when you're paying $24.80 for a phone. Of course, that includes the leather case, the smartwatch, and the Galaxy Buds Plus, but still, their own apps like the Galaxy Store, Tips, they should have came with the finished design that some others came with. Okay, aside from the icons, what else is different? You can see that there's a Tone Brown app instead of the internet browser right there. Uh, cameras and the Play Store apps are a little different. Pulling up the app drawer, what else? Let's go um, check out the settings over there. The theme color is different. This is all washed out in gray with the little accent colors in crimson here and connection display wallpaper, biometrics and security, privacy. And the font looks different too. They're both set to the default, but the Tone Brown font is a little narrower. You can see that the style wise is narrower. It's in the same settings. And they also have the dedicated sound theme. The ringtone isn't over the horizon, but a classic telephone tone with the notification sound is a pop. And again, if you don't happen to like it, you can change it in the system sound to Galaxy, Calm, fun, 
or retro. Everything else is the same. This is a Snapdragon 855 Plus device with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of built-in storage. You cannot expand it further. There are dual cameras on the back, wide and the super wide, LED flash, and there's a little teeny tiny screen on the other side so you can see what's happening even when closed down. And what I like about the Tone Button Edition specifically is that since it's frosted, you can see them better without the light going through your way. And of course, you can just swipe on there to check out the notification. You can read them. Uh, you can tap twice. You can click twice on the power key to use it as a viewfinder, a little small viewfinder there. Pretty neat. And this is a free stop hinge, so you can stop it in the middle for better selfie. The viewfinder kind of stucks up to the top and controls are in the easier position. You can have easier video call with this. And the person on the other side can also see what's happening through the little viewfinder over there. All those neat little goodies. And of course, this is a flip phone, so you can just flip it and put it inside your jacket or a coat. Now, what actually completes this device is the leather case. You can just pull up the little compartment below and you see the leather case. They're of course finished in gray and tone brown colors. This is a different material. This is a fabric over there attached there. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but they seem like they're gonna last. And on the inside where you're probably never gonna see again once you attach this with the little sticker is a tone brown New York patch. All right, so let's try it on, on top and bottom. But here's the phone with the leather case. On the outside, it looks like this. All the openings are very nicely done. Uh, the power key volume rocker, everything is available. The USB-C port and the speaker hole along with the microphone. This is a case, so it does make it a little thicker and heavier. We got a scale over here. Without the case, this is 185 grams with the case attached. This goes up to 215 grams. And I presume this is gonna go extremely nice if you're wearing a tone brown suit or tone brown um, shirt. I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't know what they make, but I know they're fashion brands. So if you're wearing one of theirs, then it's probably gonna go very nicely. Okay, this is not the first time that the cell phone brands have collaborated with the fashion brands. There has been LG Prada, one, two, and three. Now their packaging was also nice, super premium and everything. And Samsung themselves collaborated with George Giorgio Armani, and they also were pretty cool. This is Prada 2 from LG, and hell, they even came with the QWERTY sliding keypad. And their Giorgio Armani phone came with their signature color and the theme. So this comes in the legacy of this collaboration, and I think it turned out pretty nicely. I got nothing against it, but if you ask for my two cents, I'm not the biggest fan. Of course, well, firstly, I'm not a tone brown guy. You can see. But also the software side of the differences are not perfectly done. The wallpaper, the lock screen, resolution, and these icons are not done very thoroughly. That's the thing. If you're gonna charge people that much, you gotta do that much of work. But it seems like a little unfinished work over here. The idea was good, the execution was good, the, the packaging looks fantastic, but the software side is still have a little way to go. All right, so that was the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip Tone Brown Edition. The availability differs by the region. Uh, they're limited in numbers. So if you think this is your thing, better start getting on that line. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. You can always meet us on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.